Hello, welcome to Don't Forget to Read the Instructions. I'm your host, Leroy Harris, Programming Librarian here at the New Ohm Public Library. Don't Forget to Read the Instructions is the show in which I teach my fellow librarians and some guests how to play some tabletop games. But what are tabletop games? Well, pretty much any game you could play on the table, or the floor, or anywhere you want, really. But they usually involve a board, cards, dice, pen and paper, a whole bunch of different things. And you'll get to see those as we go through the series. Special thanks to NewCat for making this series possible. And if you like any of the games that you see on the show, you can always check them out from the library as well. We hope you enjoy this episode of Don't Forget to Read the Instruction. Welcome back to Don't Forget to Read the Instructions. Today we're going to be playing Similo, which was created by the company Horrible Games. <laughs> um, they have a couple versions of Similo. Today we're going to be playing the history version, which features uh, famous people from different parts of the world and all areas of history. Uh, the whole uh, group is on the same team, and they're trying to figure out a secret person. One person knows a secret person, and they give clues over a number of rounds, and the other players try to eliminate based on the clues that are given. Let's see. Hello everyone and welcome back to Don't Forget to Read the Instructions. Today we're going to be playing a game called Similo. They have two versions out, uh, a version with fables and a version with historical figures. Uh, at the library we've got the historical figure ones, mm -hmm. but don't worry, they're, they're pretty straightforward. So there are 30 cards here. Uh, you know, great men and women of history. We've got Genghis Khan, Moctezuma, Catherine the Great, Vincent van Gogh, Joan of Arc, Mary Shelley, uh, Katsushika Hokusai, Cleopatra. I don't know that one. Abraham Lincoln. Uh, he made that famous wave painting. Oh, okay. Oh. And, right, everybody's seen the painting, right? So yeah. now yeah. you know his name. Yeah. Uh, Pocahontas, no. Charles Darwin, <laughs> Leonardo da Vinci, Napoleon Bonaparte, Boudicca. Elizabeth the first, and Bonnie, Isaac Newton, Confucius, Ludwig von Beethoven, Julius Caesar, Hypatia, Alexander the Great, Tutankhamen, William Shakespeare, Saladin, Marie Antoinette, Princess Sissy, Marie Curie, Sitting Bull, and Virginia Woolf. So it's a wide variety of, of, of people here, right? They're, uh uh, civilization's characters. Right? <laughs> yeah. um, on each of the cards it also has a little bit about them and tells when they lived. Um, those are kind of in small print, so uh, you know, just look inside. So the object of the game is for everyone as a team to guess the secret character. One person knows who the secret character is and they're going to be giving clues over five rounds mm -hmm. to figure out who the secret character is. And there will be 12 cards out in play. So. First thing we're going to do is we're going to gather all of these and we will get them, make sure they're all facing the same way. There we go. We'll get them shuffled here. Okay, and then. Nothing fancy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then that'll be our secret character. <clears throat> and then two, three, four, five, six. Do we just guess? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No. Um, I'm going to be using the other characters to provide clues. Okay. And the reason why it's called Simbolo is because when I give a clue, the clue is either going to say this is similar or not to the secret person. Um, and so. So does it help to know more about these people? Um, yes. Sweet. It does. <laughs> uh, then also... Uh, I should have said no to this part. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness for tasting history. I learned a lot. Okay. All right. So we've got... Uh, we'll turn them this way. Two, three... We're supposed to put them in four rows of three here. And then I'm going to draw five cards. And so each round, you're going to select a certain number 
of people to eliminate from a possibility. Okay. Okay. So I give you the clue, and then you'll get to discuss the clue. I can't say or make any gestures, uh, and then you'll, in the first round, you'll pick one person to eliminate. Um, if we make it to the end and the, the correct person is, is left, then we win. If at any time you eliminate the secret person, we lose. Oh, oh. So, oh. it's rough. Uh, the first round, you're going to eliminate one. In the second round, you're going to eliminate two. Uh, in the third round, you're going to eliminate three. In the fourth round, I think you eliminate another two. This is where you don't forget to read the instructions. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think what I learned on tasting history is going to help me at all no. here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you remove one the first round, two the second round, three the third round, four the fourth round, and then in the fifth round there are only two left. <coughs> all right. Now, when I play a card, I'm either going to play it vertically or horizontally. If I place it vertically, that means that something uh, on that card is similar to the person. Okay. okay. So it could be the time in which they lived, it could be their profession, the country it could be the, the area of the world they're from, it could be their gender, it could be a number of different mm -hmm. things, right? Oh, nice. um, but I'll play something and it tells you what's similar. If I put it horizontally, then it tells you that there's something about the character that is not similar. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah. This is a bit of a challenge. Oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Here we go. Let's go with. So, not similar. Not similar to Captain the Great. Mm -hmm. well, that could be anything. That's not good. I mean, eliminate a guy. Mm hmm. Right. So remember, if it's not similar to Catherine the Gate, then some aspect of her <coughs> is not like the secret person. Well, then I would say we eliminate Marie Antoinette. Because? Because it's not similar, right? So, mm -hmm. I mean, oh, I'd say okay. the person who's probably the most similar on the board is Catherine, is uh, Marie Antoinette. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Because they're monarchs, they right. have the same gender, they're from similar-ish area of the world, like, you know, Europe-ish. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, they're, you know, 18th century. Agreed. 19th okay. century. Okay. All right. So we'll eliminate Marie Antoinette. Okay. Not similar to Cleopatra. Now you have to pick two. Oh. I'm thinking Tutankhamun should probably stay. I mean, but if it's not similar, because they're both Egyptian, although, I mean, very disparate times and very disparate dynasties, but I don't know. They have more in common than, say, like Cleopatra and Charles Darwin. <laughs> <laughs> so not like Cleopatra. I would say we oh, uh, eliminate like Caesar that. maybe then. Okay, Caesar mm -hmm. and, and Alexander the Great maybe. Wait, no. Well, they have a lot in common though. Because they were They're all in the same. Right. Well, no, well no, he came so first. He came first. He came first, but she is descended from one of his advisors. The Ptolemaic line is from Alexander the Great. That's right. Um, and Caesar and Cleopatra are from similar time periods and interacted like disparately. Um, as far as she didn't, wasn't she with uh, well, one of the other triumvirate? Mark Antony. Mark Antony. Yeah. So. Not similar. I feel like maybe those two would be good, but also they're men and conquerors, and she was a queen. I guess I don't know. So dissimilar. I I don't know. What do you guys think?
Well, also, so so if the, they've both been female monarchs so far, too, so. Which we don't have any other one besides mm -hmm. Marie Antoinette. And she's already gone, so. Pocahontas, the only thing she'd have in common is that she's a woman, otherwise completely different. Mm -hmm. Napoleon Bonaparte was completely different, right? No, except for I mean, he did spend time in Egypt, though, famously. Mm -hmm. Da Vinci? He wasn't a ruler of any kind. Well, I mean, that's why I, I would say we keep him for sure then, because okay. they have nothing in yeah. common. Right. Okay. Um, you know, although I think Nebulously, I, I seem to recall Catherine the Great as being a, a patron of the sciences, but... Uh, yeah, I would say maybe let's eliminate Alexander the Great and Julius Caesar. Or Tutankhamun. One of those guys, one of those three. Two of those three, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine? I feel a little confused because we're looking for people that are not similar at all. That are not similar. So we want to today. eliminate so people who have the most in common right now. Yeah, you want to eliminate. So the most person. Most in common. Yeah, all you right. Want to so keep. I think these two go. The two? I think you're right. I mean, it's, but also two yeah. in common, too. All right. So Julius well, Caesar um, and Alexander the Great. We're still in it. Oh, okay. Cool. Round three. Then go. Oh, similar. Similar. Da Vinci is similar. Yeah, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. So we want somebody who's not similar to Van Gogh. Well, then let's eliminate, I don't know, anyone that's not an artist. <laughs> oh, no. And how many do we need? You to have know? to eliminate three this round. So Shakespeare and Da Vinci should stay. Yes. Um, I would lean towards. Oh. Probably, yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, Bonaparte Pocahontas. isn't so disparate from Van Gogh. Well, and I would say that people would argue that arts and science are very closely related. And, and France in common. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, France is common. common. Yeah. So I, you'd say, I'd say you, you're probably right. Let's kill these, let's kill these three. <laughs> kill these three. <laughs> three. Two, three. Still in it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, I'm limited by the cards in my hand as mm. to how the, the, the mm -hmm. clues I can give, so I have to try to. Um, you have to eliminate four this time. Whoa! No okay. way. Yes. Yeah, you have to eliminate four. That's gonna be tough. But I haven't, I haven't given the clue yet. So. So I think it's probably. Do you want to do gender at least as the guy, a man? Do you think? Oh, no, I don't know. I'm leaning towards Da Vinci right now, just based on the the clues, because. Oh. But is that too easy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. it, could, it could be Shakespeare too, I guess. Right. I mean, that's your first inclination is the artist. Mm -hmm. I mean, I want to say they have common with Van Gogh, so. I don't know what Pocahontas could have in common with Van Gogh. Well, they both spent time in England. I suppose. <laughs> yeah. Stretching it. Okay, really, yeah. here's your clue. Okay, similar to. So, Hypatia, she was a philosopher and astronomer. Uh, oh. So. Well, so oh, da Vinci. Vinci. Yeah. You're right. I, I mean, was, that's. Yeah. Philosopher, astronomer, I will sudden, and then artist, too. I would say let's. So we have to eliminate four, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we can get rid of Bonaparte, Pocahontas, probably. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just, yeah. That's two Just down. Two. And two more. And then it gets hard because... Yeah, I mean, because Shakespeare has a great beard. <laughs> so... <laughs> That's don't, true. It could be... Don't want to look at him. I mean, look right? at that. That's but but all three beard. of them have beards. <laughs> true. 
I mean, mm. Marie Curie doesn't have a beard. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mm. I would say we probably want to just eliminate. I don't know. Artist and philosopher. It's really difficult. It's really got to be Da Vinci, I think right? So. So you want I would eliminate yeah. these two. Those two? These two. Yeah. Okay. You're still in? <laughs> You're still in. Okay. Still All right. In. I'm feeling really strong about Da Vinci. I don't okay. think it's Darwin, so. But it could be. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, what kind of clue can I give? Oof. I don't remember. Did he do drawings in his little book? I don't <laughs> Darwin? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. maybe. He said maybe, so that finches. means no. Didn't he, like, didn't he draw finches? Not Finch like beaks. Queen Elizabeth. Okay. Well, let's go with Da Vinci one. then. <laughs> because I don't, I mean, is, is isn't, is, he's from England, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. yeah, I'm going to, I, yeah, I would say it's Da Vinci. What do you think, Carol? Yeah. Yep. Good job. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Got Da Vinci. Very good. Okay. Should we play another round? Sure. I mean, went went fairly quick. Fairly do we want to do somebody else giving the clues? Yes. No, absolutely. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's part of you. the game. You might be on the end of the guessing. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, I can do it if you want. But so that I can confirm no, I don't do it. <laughs> someone else. Okay, I don't get the. I'll, I don't get past that. I know. See, we need him to guess. Yeah. So okay. Wow. Well, we'll, we'll give Leroy a shot. Leroy. Will. See how he Leroy. Will. Okay. Lead. We'll see. We'll see can what I can do. Lead us through the game. Yes. He's okay. played civilizations. He knows what those <laughs> are. So we put down twelve, right? And yeah. Then, but but first you're gonna set one aside. Have one. Put then eleven two, more with three. it. Three. Okay. Yeah. Three. Yeah. There's four, four five, six, seven, eight, eleven. And then I look at it, right? Yep. You look at it. Okay. And then you're gonna shuffle them all up and lay them out in four rows of three. This is. This one's gonna be rough. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, actually, I'll actually like, go okay. this way so I can, can read face it the camera. No problem. Okay, Darwin, Joan of Arc, Pocahontas. Jordan. Oh, Mr. Lincoln made it. Yep. Mr. Biden. Oh, okay. Color is coming. Mary Shelley. Caesar's back. Beethoven. Princess Cece. So then you're going to draw five cards. Yikes. <laughs> and then take a look and put it vertically if it's similar and horizontal oh, no. if it's not similar. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you're looking at <laughs> what you got there. You, know, uh, you wanted somebody else to do it. <laughs> uh, all right. God, I mean. All right, I'm gonna. Oh, because it's important who's on the board. Too. Yes. So. <laughs> yes, exactly. I'm gonna go with. Not like Anne Bonny. Not like Anne Bonny. Okay. Um, so she's a pirate. Um, hmm. So not a pirate. <laughs> not pirate. Maybe not British. Maybe not female. Um, I'm like mad. My cards are just terrible. <laughs> Violent. <laughs> um, but oh man, mm, this one's tough. I suppose. The only militant female that we have is Joan of Arc, uh, and they are from a similar time period. She's from the Hundred Years' War. Man, she's from there. Yeah. Um, so they're pretty close there. Um, what do y'all think? We're looking for not similar. Yeah, not, not similar to to the the secret person. And so, if it's like her, then it's not like the secret person. So. I would I would say Joan of Arc. What do you think? Um, 
I would say her or Pocahontas. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, because she's Americas as well, because she, she was a pirate who activated her, was active in the Caribbean and whatnot. So. 1697. Carol? Joan's fine. Okay. Yeah. Let's go with Joan. We still in it? Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, and you drew another card? Oh, I get to draw? Yes. Oh, that draw. makes it so much better. Yes. Oh, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> the potential was there. Oh, uh, uh, no. Dang it. Okay. All right. So, um, give us another clue. And the clues are cumulative, of course. Yeah. Uh, and, but now we have to eliminate two. Not like Hypatia. Okay, so we've got two women mm -hmm. so far. Um, neither of them are rulers. So Mary Shelley and Pocahontas? Mm. Okay. Should we go with that? Because mm. these, these were both royalty. Yeah. But they're not women, right? Yeah, so we know because of that um, that it's you know, twice now not it's similar. Not, yeah, so, so a woman is less likely, less probable. Oh, right. oh, I see. So yeah. Not similar to mm -hmm. to the secret, secret person. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay, yeah. So Mary shall we go Mary Shelley and, and Pocahontas? Yeah. Are we still in it? Yes. Oh, okay. Come on, come on. Okay, this is better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we have to eliminate three. Okay. American male military leader. Mm -hmm. um, so I think maybe we could get rid of Beethoven and Van Gogh. Mm -hmm. Keep Lincoln though. Yeah, keep keep Lincoln there. Um, they're all military leaders. Um, Maybe this is like stressful for me too. <laughs> like, right, right. There's there's tension there. There's tension. There. They're both European Cleopatras from Egypt. So should we go with Princess Sisi as well? I don't know who she is, but sure. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So she she was uh, Empress of Austria. Okay. Oh. So okay. yeah. So Van Gogh. And then, are we still in it? Yep. <sighs> okay. okay. All right. Now we have to eliminate four. Oh boy. All right. You know what? I'm gonna go with. This too. Ooh, Alexander, Alexander the Great. The great. Uh, okay, military conqueror. Um, yep. So they were both vict both of them were victorious in battle. Um, oh man, she lost. <laughs> <laughs> she did. He, he lost. lost. <laughs> eventually. 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 <laughs> he got stabbed. Um, I'm uh, not familiar with him. Saladin. Uh, he he was. First Sultan of Egypt and Syria. Yeah, so he was pretty, um, pretty successful. He he set up the Mughal dynasty. Uh, no, not not the Mughal dynasty. The ah. Uh, oh, he was. It was before the, the Ottomans. Yeah. He was, he was during the Crusades. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, yeah. Obviously, to see defeat of the Crusaders at Jerusalem. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, It's tough. It is tough. There's a lot of overlap on a lot of these. Mm -hmm. And my cards yeah. are not good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I think I think we can eliminate Cleopatra. Mm -hmm. so. and, and Caesar? Yes. No, oh, he can't say yeah, Can I say it? Yeah, yeah. You can't say it until we're done. Okay, yeah. so, so Cleopatra. I mean, I'd love to. But <laughs> um, say Napoleon? Um, okay. 
They're both clean shaven. <laughs> oh, <goodness>. oh, no. <laughs> um, uh, Eliminate two more, right? Yeah, we gotta eliminate oh two gosh. more. Yeah, this is this is uh, this is tense. Um, so I think it's Lincoln. You think the card mm -hmm. is Lincoln? You think our secret person is Lincoln? I do. It but could I'm, be. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'm looking for a reaction over there. <laughs> psychology, psychology. <laughs> Got it. Oh my god! I don't think you're gonna catch one. <laughs> I, didn't um, see, I didn't look quick enough. But I could very definitely be wrong. So, Sitting Bull was not assassinated. Mm -hmm. Alexander the Great is questionable. Some people say yeah or nay. But we know Caesar and mm -hmm. Lincoln were both assassinated. Um, so I'd say we can get rid of Caesar. Yeah, I don't have any strong feelings about Caesar. Yeah, and as far as time periods go, we're all over the place. So. Right. Um, That's true. Okay. B.C., B.C., 1700s, 1800s. Yep. Mm -hmm. is, is there any clue to the, like, mm. geographical? Not really. No, they're all, we're no. all over the world. Over the place. World. We've got okay. Persia, we've so got America, America we've got Caribbean and, and Europe, and we've got uh, Greece. So. I mean, technically speaking, they may have some geographical but like, you know, Genghis Khan conquered the whole world, so that doesn't help at right. all. It's like, <laughs> he's everywhere. <laughs> I, I forget the exact statistic, but if you are an, an Asian male, there's like a like a one in twenty per chance that you're descended from Genghis Khan somehow. <laughs> yep. I've heard that as well. It's, it's yeah, I, I mean that guy was prolific. Um, I mean, well he conquered from Mongolia to like Eastern Europe, so mm -hmm. yeah, he made it into Poland. So. Yeah, that's <laughs> an enormous <laughs> swamp. <laughs> that was huge. Um, and Alexander the Great was also He's a very large conqueror. To India, yeah, so. so I mean, th they were both on there. So, so All I would right. say keep him. Mm -hmm. um, Sitting Bull was uh, a defensive military leader, and Lincoln was as well, and they're both mm -hmm. American. I say Saladin. Okay. All right. We're still in it? Nope. Dang oh! it, it's Saladin. It was Saladin. Oh. Oh. Oh, I knew nice. it was going to be hard. Yeah. That, was, that was hard. That was Lincoln, hard. get rid of Lincoln. <laughs> we got nothing in common. Well, and Sitting Bull, Bull are both I mean, American. Yeah. Well, they're both American. Me. It's yeah. funny because I thought it was Genghis Khan, but the further you started to talk, I thought maybe not. Maybe not. But then I, I, it was I, tough. I didn't really know. I really mean, the only one I thought was actually like good was Alexander the Great, but we had to eliminate so many with it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Oh, so conquering a lot of the same area, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. All right. So I think it is a good game. Mm -hmm. I think you have to play it. Like, I don't think this is like the average person's game. No. No, I, I think you have to The have fable some. version, maybe. Maybe, yeah. Yes. Um, it's, it's got I don't, a lot yeah. of very common fairy tales and <laughs> they they tales. Mostly kids. incredibly famous historical figures. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So like, yeah. I mean, I thought I, this one was a little tough because I know most of you guys don't have any idea who he is. No, right? and, and like, history is not my strong suit at all. Yeah, so though I know... one of my great loves. I love history. Right. So. so though I know these people, I don't know what you know about these mm -hmm. people because you love history. So yeah. I'd say this is much more of a specific game for mm -hmm. people who love history. Yeah. This then it would be like yeah. a general population. Everybody wants to play Monopoly. Kind mm -hmm. of thing. Yep. Very much this so. feels like something you would play in in like ninth grade history um, to get bonus points. AP for your history. Test. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. What do you yeah. know about these people? Mm -hmm. What did they do? Who are they? <laughs> well, and I like. I mean, I like the cards. I think the yeah. art is the, really the nice. Art I like really nice. that they've put facts about the people on the cards. That helps. <laughs> that it does. Because I did not know who the philosopher was. Mm -hmm. I had patient. I patient. Yeah. I heard of her. I mean, I've heard of most of these other people. Right. At there the were bare just minimum, three I names. I didn't one really story get. about them, except this guy too. The, yeah. Yeah. But I knew. But the now painting. you know. I know the painting. I'd mm -hmm. seen the painting. Yeah. I was never so. attached a name to it. So yeah. Um, 
Any other final thoughts? It's fun. I like it. I would like to play it again. Yeah. This is something I would definitely yeah. play. Rules, mechanics, was it pretty easy to pick oh, up? Yeah. Yes, yeah. and I think there is just enough of a, a level of challenge there with, uh, with the, the, the number of cards you get. Like, mm -hmm. I, like When I drew my first five cards, I thought, ah, I got nothing. <laughs> 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 I saw a salad in that first of all. I was like, oh man, I know enough about this guy to be dangerous, and that is it. <laughs> and I know nothing about him at nothing, all. So. Yeah, he, I, the only reason I, I mean, you ever seen uh, the Kingdom of Heaven? No, oh, with the oh, Ridley okay. Scott movie. Okay, with uh, Orlando Bloom and Liam Neeson. <laughs> mm. Yeah, he's in that movie. He's a, yeah. This guy? Yeah, yeah. Ah. yeah. He's not. He's not like a main character or anything, but he's the he's the existential threat approaching the, oh, the heroes as, as okay. they as they are, you know, about to take see, Jerusalem. In this game, I would be the fun person who would watch and bring people food and drinks. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's not, uh, history's yeah. not my thing, so mm -hmm. I, yeah. I would, but I thought it was interesting to tag along. Yeah, yeah. So. I like the mechanics of the game where it kind of, clues-wise, it, it eases you into how many you have to eliminate. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you hit that fourth round and that's, that's like, the, that's the intensest yeah. round, I think, yeah. And it's got an element of that kind of guess who, where like, you know, if you, if you didn't know anything <laughs> about it, He's got a beard. <laughs> <laughs> right, but then you're, like, for us, we're relying on, you know, the clue giver to, to lead us in that I direction. I mean, but part of that is, really like, you can see the person who's given the clues and think, does this person know anything about life? Right, and that would be me. How many me of them too. have yeah. eyes? Yeah, right? okay, let's just take it down to the very reductive yeah. level. Yeah. Who's yeah. wearing jewelry? Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> So let's have a hat. Boy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Yeah. I think that history buffs, it would be like a really intense game. And then for the rest of us, it'd be like, <laughs> guess who? Like, guess guess who? who? Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that's how you play uh, Similo, the history version. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time on Don't Forget to Read the Instructions.